right, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a full-on setup tour of my brand new native Titan 12. From front to back, we're just going to go over everything on the boat. We're just going to start up front. Um, some of these things that are on it came with it when I bought it, uh, like this. Um, I don't know what this is made out of. I need to ask the guy I bought it from, because this is a great idea. This thing works great uh, compared to just this handle. This works great. All right, moving on, uh, natives have the two front rod holders on the side, which work great. I can comfortably, I can comfortably carry probably, probably nine rods if I really chose to do so. Right now, I just carry six. Uh, I'll probably carry more on turn today. All right, start the front hatch. In the front hatch, I have back here in the back, right there is my battery box. I have two seven amp hour. Uh, batteries running parallel in there. Uh, here's keep the cooler. Not much to say about that. Just, just keep some drinks in it. Keep this milk crate. Uh, this was actually the guy that I bought it from had this idea, but it works great. Keep my dry bag, my Hurag dry bag in here with a uh, Soma Extra GoPro uh, gear, different you know mounts and stuff. Busy Carbon Pro, so when I need it, I can get to it. Bug spray, Connect Scale. Uh, I'm gonna find a better place to Connect Scale. Moving down the boat, got my Ego S1 net. Great net, floats. Um, I was gonna get the Ack Attack, but they don't float. And I mean, you know, mistakes happen, so I'd rather have a floating net than pay $80 on the net that's gonna sink to the bottom. Moving on, we've got the native propel drive, which is incredible. Uh, it's just, it works so good. On top, I have a rotor grip paddle holder that just holds my net in place. Uh, so it's right in front of me, easy to get to. Uh, here we have my front GoPro mount, which is still on. This is my dog bone uh, camera mount. Works great. But you see that wire, which I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a mess right now because I just got off the water. Uh, Stop Gap Weed Guard. The guy that I bought this from put this on here. This thing, I went through a bunch of weeds today and never once had to pull the drive up. So that's a must. Um, I think the only place that I know of has them is Headwaters in California. I believe you can order them. All right, so moving up, we've got my uh, Lowrance triple shot hook two. Has a side scan, down scan, mapping, everything. Great uh, budget fish finder. Um, definitely want to upgrade to an HCS Live at some point. Um, over there is my paddle. Uh, that also came with it when I bought it. It's a Benny Brinks Angler Rise. The only reason I'm using that is not my old one is because that's longer, works better. Don't really ever have to use a paddle very much. A uh, cup holder over here, keep my water. Uh, the life vest I use is the Astral Rhino Fisher. It's a great life vest, has a thin back. Um, the reflective thing if you ever need it. It's also a hood, so if it starts raining. But uh, yeah, it's a great life vest. I also have an NRS Chinook that came with it when I bought it, which I might start using that, but it's, for now this is my backup. Under the seat, keep another water. My other battery box which this is my GoPro battery box. As you can see in there, I have two, uh, a USB port going to two batteries, or two uh, different cords. One goes to the front GoPro, and then one goes to the back GoPro back here, which is on a Yak Attack mount with an extension. Works great, gets the back angle really good. I couldn't really get a back angle on my last one very easily. Um, here is my Hawk Trap. I just keep it on the side right there. There's the rod stagers, I have those on both sides. I do use them sometimes, but not always. Um, here is my, here's my soft plastic container. Uh, this is gonna change, I can tell you that right now, because uh, I do not like how it is. Uh, it's just, I carry too much stuff that I don't ever, ever end up using. Uh, Boondocks landing gear, it's a must for this boat. This is a big boat. Uh, this is great, the only thing I will say is when you get in the water, I learned you have to push it down and then pull it out because of the air in the tires. It's kind of hard to get used to, but you'll get used to it. Yak Attack cup holder. Here I have my Wilderness Systems crate. This is a great crate. I don't know if I'm going to keep using it. I probably will. Um, I like having the top storage, which is really nice for one. Just uh, open it up and you got stuff you need to get to right away. All my rods. Like I said, I have six rods on me right now. All are Enigma fishing rods. Um, you guys have seen the videos. They're fantastic rods. Then to cap off the boat, we have the 
micro power pole, which is incredible. Uh, I am so happy with this. I also have a battery pack. Uh, this battery pack I found at Dick Sporting Goods for $50 in clearance. It's normally a $200 battery. So, um, I don't know. I, they don't sell the actual power pole, so I guess they just like got it in and were like, why did we get this in? We don't need this for anything. Um, and clearance it out because I've never once seen the actual unit there, but they had this for 20 bu or for 50 bucks. And I, I wish they would have had two because I would have bought two. But for 50, I mean, th I, that's why I don't use regular batteries just because I paid 50 bucks for this. I've never had the issue where it gets stuck. See, it works great. Uh, just uh, don't do like I just did and make sure you bring the remote. I don't have the Burley Pro. Um, the 2019s come with Spectra wire already on the uh, already on the rudder, so I don't feel I need to upgrade anytime soon. And I don't have the Boondocks rudder. I'm still just using the stock rudder. All right, so that is a full walkthrough of my new boat. I don't think I missed anything. If there's anything you have questions on, leave them in the comments. Um, it, it's a great boat. I'm loving it so far. I have yet to find anything I don't like about it. I don't think I will. But uh, it's a great boat. It, it's just, I'm so happy with it. And uh, I highly suggest it if you are somebody that likes to have a big boat and a lot of storage space and stuff. Having the front hatch storage, because I didn't before, makes every, my life so much easier. And the whole deck and everything is so much cleaner. But uh, I just highly suggest uh, picking this boat up if it's for you. It's definitely a lot to lug around and stuff, but uh, you know, it's doable for sure. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I will be doing, redoing this probably at some point again in the future because uh, I'm sure things will change. If anything does change though, I'll make sure and include it in my videos that it's changed and things are different. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video out of the Native Titan 12.